Today we're going to talk about something way more fun than setting up your blog. We're going to talk about how to figure out what to write about. And this is my favorite thing if you're going to be blogging, if you're going to be doing a passion project, making um, videos for YouTube, if you're trying to figure out what people want you to write about and what you could rank for, which I think is really important. There's um, a big difference between saying, I would love to rank for marketing and then like, would that actually get me any traffic or would anybody be interested in that or is that too broad a term? So today we're going to be using a paid tool called SEM Rush. It's $100 a month, but guess what? There's a seven day free trial. Now I pay for this tool because it is definitely worth it for my business um, as a blogger. Now, what I also have found that some of the gals do is they will split a subscription. So they will have like five of them and then it's only $20 a month. But I don't think that's officially sanctioned by SEM Rush. But so what we're going to do today is we're going to find a large website that is um, in your niche. Now, you don't want to go to your next smallest competitor and see what they're doing. You want to find a giant website. Hey, Jan. Hey, Joe. Hey, Jimmy. Um, you want to find a large website that is doing what you want to do. So for me, when I was looking at my crafts, I picked Martha Stewart because first off, Martha is the queen of crafts and, um, and I love her. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to put Martha Stewart in the top. And then you're going to go to keywords, right? View full report. Now, the thing about this is you're going to be able to see every keyword that Martha ranks for, right? And she is very good at this, right? She has a staff. She has writers. She ranks for 2.7 million keywords. God bless her. But what we want to do is we want to come right here to um so she so these are big keywords remember i was talking about marketing breakfast is a huge keyword supreme like what good would it be to rank or to get a blog post or to get a video to rank for supreme it doesn't actually help because nobody's searching for supreme in regards to in my case crafts so what i want to do is i want to come here and i want to sort it by position Okay, so I want to see the positions and then, so I don't even know what that is. We're going to find how to scrunchy, right? Like, so it would be amazing if I could get how to scrunchy, but I'll, actually only 70 people a month rank for that. Okay, only 70 people a month search for that. But what we're going to do is we're going to search by volume. So I only want a volume between 10,000 and 100,000, okay? I want to know that there's a really decent chance that somebody is going to be searching for what I'm going to write about, okay? And now I'm not going to try to rank for Rainbow Cake because I'm a new blogger with my artsy fartsy blog. I'm only two years old, so I'm going to have a hard time ranking for rainbow cake but what we can do is go to the middle so i'm going to go to 25th page out of 54. and i want to see the things that martha is not ranking well for right so i even think gosh i even think oh, taco toppings maybe but i'm looking for more crafty stuff so easy halloween costumes Maybe I could compete with Martha on that. That might be something that I wanted to do. But let's go all the way to, let's go to 35 next and see what, oh, okay. Here we go. Outdoor plant stand. So for me, 18,000 searches a month, outdoor plant stand is definitely a post I could write about right so that could be something that i could do if you're doing affiliate marketing you could write a post about the best bedding sets because martha isn't ranking very high for this 
she probably doesn't have a post specifically about that. So let's talk about why Martha would rank for this at all. So she has probably written a post about the best plant stands or about, um, you know, how to set up your patio. And she has outdoor plant stand as a word in one of her blog posts, but she probably doesn't have a blog post that is specifically for outdoor plant stand, right? So that's those opportunities. That's where we can get into these higher level keywords and really start to do that. Now, say you're doing a recipe blog. Pinch of Yum is a huge recipe blog. And we're going to come back up here. Boop, 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 boop. Now we have to go back to here and say, post in Pinch of Yum. They're going to do that search for us. And we're going to find out their keywords. And then the position tracking is already there. Okay. So this is, they have 817 keywords. They have fewer pages than Martha. So they may not actually be big enough, right? But let's go down here to page six. And these are ones that they've probably written a post about. Okay. Steel Pet Oats Recipe. So they probably have a post about how to make overnight steel coats, steel cut oats. They probably have something like that, but maybe not a exact post about how to do those things. So we're going to get out of pinch yum because I feel like they're kind of tiny for us. If you were going to start a mommy blog or kind of a, a, a momish blog, Let's see what happens when we do these guys. And if you're doing the free one, you may not be able to um, do as many a day. Uh, but even if you have to pay for one month of this, you could do so many searches on this and get all the keywords that you want. So, right, we're way up here. So how many pages does Scary Mommy have? Oh, they have more. Okay, so let's do 10. Let's go look at some of their things that they rank for. Okay, here we go. Jan Sport Backpacks for Girls. Oh my gosh, that would be an amazing affiliate marketing blog post. You would write the best Jan Sport Backpacks for Girls or cute Jan Sport Backpacks for Girls or how to pick the right Jan Sport Backpack for Girls. You would rank really well during back to school time. You would have affiliate marketing. You would have affiliate links in there to, um, you could maybe do affiliate links to Staples or something like that. Or you could do it to Amazon. Of course, you can do it to Amazon. Um, creepy drawings. How to draw creepy drawings. That is a great Halloween post. And I'm super big on targeting those seasonal keywords throughout the years. And look, this uh, science fair ideas. How fun is that? Say you have some pictures on your phone from your kids who have done science fair projects. You could have your own pictures already and then just make a big list of science fair ideas. That would be an excellent one. And that's going to be somewhat seasonal too, right? Um, and then you could put the, the list of things that your kid used for them in your post as affiliate links, right? Because we want to make money. We're going to make money. We're trying to make money two ways with this system. We're trying to find high volume keywords that will let us get enough people to see our posts that we can get ads on our site, right? And then we want to write posts that we have the ability to do an affiliate link for so that we can make money. Okay, so let's do the next one. Huffington Post is a great one. These guys are really broad, right? So my last two that I'm going to show you are really broad. So Huffington Post has a lot of information. They rank for lots of keywords. Um, but they also, because they're so broad, they're probably not um, trying to rank for those you know, really specific keywords that we can go in and do. Let's see how many pages. Oh, this is a great one. Okay, so we're going to go to page like, let's go to 300, right? 
Okay, so on page 300, these are going to be ones with high volume. That didn't work. Let's go back. Is it thinking? I don't feel like it's even thinking. Okay. Well, that didn't work. Let's try that again. Huffington Post. I guess we can't go to page 300. Seemed like it made it mad. Let's see. Okay, here we go. And if you guys have any questions about this, please feel free to ask. I'm kind of keeping my eyes on the questions. Okay, so... These are the really high volume ones that Huffington Post ranks for. So for me, for my for my blogs, if I was trying to rank for daily affirmations, the chance that I would be able to beat the Huffington Post is probably pretty darn small, right? Let's go, let's not go to 300 because that did not work, right? Let's try page 50. Okay, so when we go to page 50, there we go. Um, let's see. Bikini Bridge. I don't know what that is. So they're still ranking in the, the teens. That's second page of Google. I want to get, I want to get to ones where the Huffington Post isn't really ranking well for it. They just accidentally happen. Oh my gosh, there's a great one cool iPhone backgrounds. So you could write a post about cool iPhone backgrounds and then have a link to any of those um, any of those affiliates that have iPhone backgrounds for sale, right? I think that oh now we lost it. We didn't it it only goes back so far. So we may not be doing well by doing these giant giant sites. We might have to find something kind of in between, but let's see what Huff, let's see what BuzzFeed does for us. And like I said, you can get a free subscription for this for, a, for I think, a week. And then you can also, um, if you, if it's $100 a month. Um, but if you were going to be doing this for a month, you know, it would definitely be, oh, this is much better. Oh, we're back to Martha Stewart. We want BuzzFeed. Oh, we have BuzzFeed. Okay, BuzzFeed. Wait, they don't rank for as much, nearly as much as I thought they would. Let's go to page 60. See what happens. And, okay, uh, kids braid styles. If you have a child at home and you can make kids braid styles, they have 20, you get 27,000 searches a month for that post. And then think about all the cool things you could do affiliate links for. You could do them for the brushes. You could do them for the, the hair doodles. You could do them for the detangler. You could do it for all kinds of different things. That would make an amazing um, post that you could write. And what you would do by doing this, this is what I did, is, and I'm not going to show you my list of easy to rank for keywords, but what I did was I made a list of 100 keywords that I thought that I could myself rank for. Like John Gosling, I think that's that Kate plus eight guy. Um, I couldn't care less. Like I don't wanna write a blog post about that because I don't watch television. I don't watch that show. I'm not hip and current. But say you were hip and current, you could write a post about him and try to rank for John Gosling, Kate plus eight something. Um, you know, and that would do it. I think uh, adulting is too um, too broad, right? Like, let's see what's on the next page. Hi, Lorena. Hey, Annette. Okay. What do we got? Okay, so this is an interesting one. So say you wanted to be an affiliate for Amazon and sell the Frozen DVD. You could write the best blog post about Frozen 2 songs. So you, what you would do, and I'm going to teach you in the 30-day blog series, 
I'm going to teach you how to write blog posts, but this is what you want to think about. So you would have the best post on the internet about frozen two songs. Your title would say frozen two songs. Your information, you would have each song listed. Then you would write why you think it's a frozen two song. Like there's a million pages on the internet with just a list of the frozen two songs, but your page is going to be better because you're going to do screen captures of when it was done. You're going to do all kinds of things to pump up that page and make that something that would be, you know, rank worthy on the Google. And it gets 40,000 searches a month. So this is a way to really be able to find out how, um, how you can find topics straight about that are big enough to be worthy of writing about, but small enough. And people are ranking, like, I'm not trying to go up against Martha for Martha Stewart or for, um, like, uh, sewing, right? Like, I'm never going to beat Martha Stewart for those because she has domain authority, because she has an old blog, because she has, you know, 20 writers on staff. The chances of me doing that are very small. But a lot of the ones that I found, like, I found how to make purple. She had must have had that in a blog post somewhere but i rank on page one now for it and because i wrote an amazing post on how to make purple i'll link it down below with the resources so hopefully this helps tara jacobson marketing artfully all right live people i am hey wall i am going to be signing off but I was just telling you guys about how to um, find keywords that you can rank for so that you can have your passion blog. Make sure you go to 30dayblog.com. I have a whole blog post about it, but I had to do something fun today because I've been teaching how to technically set it up. And that's not as much fun as doing keyword research. So love you all. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.